Hello, I am Marcos Bustillo Ramirez. Welcome to this new lesson in Arts and Crafts for my students in 4th of ESO. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to draw a rhythmical composition. As I told you at the classroom, rhythm is one of the most important elements used in creative visual arts, and it is also close related to musical rhythm as long as both of them are based on beats and intervals between them. In the case of musical rhythm, the intervals are composed of silence, and in the case of visual rhythm, those intervals are formed of different graphic elements having common features such as shape, size, color, or so. Several kinds of rhythm can be detected regular rhythm, alternating rhythm, flowing rhythm, and random rhythm. In our plate, we are going to use our technical drawing instruments to produce a composition in which regular and alternating rhythms will be present. We will start by dividing a common A4 plate into equal areas of 1 cm wide or high at your will. You should use parallel lines. You can draw little marks in both sides of the paper to be sure that your lines will be parallel. Note that if you choose to draw horizontal strips, the last one at the bottom of your plate will be lesser than the others, because an A4 plate paper has an unexact decimal measure of 29 centimeters and 7 millimeters in its longest side. The following task is to add some shapes freely, some polygons, maybe some circumferences. The target is to get smaller areas that will be painted alternatively later. It is important to note that tiny areas should be avoided. It is better to leave wider areas that can be painted easily. We will use felt pens or crayons to fill these resultant areas, trying to alternate one in color with the next one in blank or in another different color. This alternation will create a rhythmical visual sensation. Don't forget to be extremely careful when painting. Remember that felt pens can produce some whisked darker areas by superposition of layers and it may have no satisfactory fix. I hope that these pieces of advice may have helped you. I see you next day in the classroom. Goodbye.